Hi, welcome to Oakra Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how I set up the Foscam FI9831P. So first thing I'm going to do is plug in the cables, the power adapter, and also the network cable. So for the network cable, one end goes into Foscam, the other end goes into my router. Next, I'm going to use the software that comes either on a CD, or if a computer does not have a CD drive, use a software that's available on a Foscam website. So the Foscam website is just foscam.us, and in the middle here on the website, you just click on the support tab. And when you scroll downward, you'll see the CD installation software. And just down to one for either Windows or Mac. I'll be demonstrating this on a Mac, but the setup process is exactly the same on Windows. So I'm going to just first download this. Next, once it's downloaded, I'm going to just extract the tool. Now, now I'm going to open up my download section, go to my IP camera tools. So on the Mac, this is not assigned software. So I'm going to need to right click on it, then go to open. And just say, okay, yes, open. And since if this is the first time you're opening the, using this tool, you'll see this pop up and just say, yes, allow. So I scanned my network and I found the FOS cams that have uh, been connected to the same network. So for the fi 98 p I'm just going to double click on this. So a couple of things to point out here. First, above the username, it says plugins are not found. Click me to download. So you can either download the plugin by clicking on this, or the plugin is also available on the Foscam support website. So let's head back to that support website. And right over here, browser plugins and add-ons, you can download this. For, for, but for now, I'm just going to demonstrate just clicking on this, this link right here. And what this did is it downloaded the plugin to my computer. And I'm going to the plugins right here. So I'm just going to right click on plugins, click open, and say yes. Continue and just go through this installation process. All right, finished installed. And I'm going to go back to the Foscam. So I need to close Safari, exit Safari completely. Now I'm going to go back in. So I'm going to double click on here. This time above the username, I don't have that link anymore that says plugin not detected. So for the username, the default is admin. The password for default is blank. And I'm going to click login. For the very first time you're logging in, it's going to prompt you to change your username and password. Please do so. Um, so I'm going to click OK. Username, just give it anything. And once you've picked your username and password, just click modify. On the bottom it says change your username and password success. The website will reset. And now for username, if I just hit enter right now, can't log in. It says username does not exist. So I've used the new username I created. And then click login. All right, so next thing is I want to set up this device so that it's connected to my home Wi-Fi, not just wired. I'm going to go to the settings tab. Next, I'm going to go to network, wireless settings. And I'm going to scan. I found my wireless network name. I'm going to put in my password and hit save. That's it, simple as that. Now, for the most part, just to get this up and running, everything is done. Everything from this point is purely optional. Whenever I get one of these IP cameras, first thing I like to do is turn off the startup options of having the camera pan back to the home, the uh, start position, the center position. So I always turn this off. And there's a lot of settings in here that you can always browse through yourself. And for example, there's recording, motion, uh, trigger alarms. You can set your video resolution. So I'm gonna set this to 960p since well, the highlight about this FI9831P is that it's a 1.3 megapixel sensor. So I'm going to hit save. And for on a screen display, you can choose whether or not you want to display the camera name, the time. Let's see, and also, let's say that you want to set this up with to be work to work with a Foscam Cloud, or you want to work with a network video recorder, then. Go to IP configuration and uncheck this box. You're going to need to give it a static IP. So give it like 156 or 115, something. That's if you want to set up the port forwarding. So with the Foscam FI9831P, the highlight of this is that this has a QR code on the bottom and you can just use the Foscam app and scan this and totally avoid that port forwarding thing. 
but it only works on the iPhone, the iPad, the Android um, devices. If you want to view it from, a, from your computer remotely, you're going to need to set port forwarding. And some other basic settings such as create user accounts, you can do that here. There's three types of accounts, visitor, an operator, or administrator. Visitor, you can't pan to. Operator, you can. But also the operator, you can't view, you can't access like the settings page, for example. All right, I'm head back to the live video. Now the screen looks like it shrunk, but it really didn't. It's just that now I see a little bit more of the top and a little bit more of the bottom because now it's at the 960p resolution. So it's just a little demo of the uh, video quality. It's HD video quality. So to quickly access this FI9831P on your smartphone or tablet, just launch the Foscam Viewer app. Then in the Viewer app, on the bottom from the left, is Video, IPC, press IPC. Now there's a couple icons up here above that. We got a search, but then there's also a search with a QR code. So I'm press the search with QR code. And what makes this unit plug and play is this QR code on the bottom here. I'm just going to scan that using the Foscam app. All right, so I found it, and all I need to do is give my device a name and a password. Once I save the information, so hit OK, it'll say Add Success, hit Back. Now it's listed on here. So I can just press it once, it'll start to connect, and it'll say Connect Successful. Well, there. Hello. Thank you for watching this tutorial video on the FI9831P. Stay tuned, I'll be publishing my review video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me.